Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. Thank you for joining me tonight. And before we begin tonight's pour, I wanted to show you um, the last painting, uh, Dry Results. Um, I haven't uh, sealed it yet, but the shimmer on this painting with the smoke and mirrors in there is just gorgeous. So I wanted to show you the dry results. It's so pretty. I just love how it just shimmered through here. And the whole painting is really nice. So there you go. That is our um, color stop or color shot um, blues that we did. Tonight we're going to be working on a 12 by 12 level one, and I'm still doing the sh color shots. So um, tonight I'm going to use um, a good portion, one, two, three, four, five, six of the paints that we haven't used yet. Um, I only have, I think, three or four colors that I haven't used yet, but I haven't um, had a chance to incorporate them into other paintings. They're not going to fit in tonight's painting, and they don't, won't look good together because one is like a kale green, um, a really light tan, uh, a gray, and I just don't think that's going to work. So I will incorporate them in paintings going forward at some point, but I think I've done enough with the color shot now that I can move back on to my normal paints, my Liquitex Basics, my Deco Arts, and my uh, Master's Touch. Um, we did find out that the color shots don't necessarily work well with some of the other paints, um, so I don't want to try mixing too many of them again um, because of how gummy they got. It's like the color shots gummed up when they get, when they mix with some of the other paints. So when I use my color shots, I will probably use them by themselves or with uh, just one or um, just probably one accent color of a different brand just to avoid that problem. But tonight's painting is going to be on a 12 by 12 level one. And like I said, we're gonna be using um, six of the colors that I have not used yet. And they are greens, turquoise, and something called First Million. And this is, and I might have used it on another painting, this is um, Color Shots Gold. So it's called First Million, and we're gonna put it in with some greens and um, a couple of turquoise. So I'm gonna flood the, the canvas with white, and then I'm gonna bring you down and I'll tell you what these cute little colors are. I'll be right back. This canvas is small enough that I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to flood it while I've got you on the camera with me. Now again, this is just a 12 by 12. So we're doing a square tonight. I'm just going to use the spatula tonight, see if we can get this covered quite quickly. I always run my finger through there when I'm doing that. Okay, so let's just get that going a little over the edge. And I can fix the edges um, later as well because it does seem like um, the paint soaks into some of these level ones. So in just a few minutes, I'll see um, where the paint is missing in spots. Okay, so and I can already see it right there. like it sinks into the middle and then we have a problem in the middle. See, I can see it already running this direction. And I wish these um, were a little bit flatter, but unfortunately they are what they are. So I will try to get some of the paint out of the center and onto the edges since there is so much. So there we 
we go. I hope everyone is doing well so far this year. Um, I'm waiting for some more comments on the Valentine painting. Yeah, I know Valentine's Day is done, but that's all right. I just wanted to sh give you a little Valentine and then um, have you decide how it's going to be finished. So you just put a comment in there of which of the colors that I've shown on my last couple videos that you would prefer to see in the center. And then I'm going to do that. And then I have, because um, I kept saying I was going to embellish it, I have a bunch of these, if you, oh, you can't see them, hang on a minute, um, a bunch of color shot um, markers, they're paint markers, and I bought a bunch of them, and I put, a, put them in this in here right now, um, so a lot of them are the same colors as um, the paints, and then there's some that I didn't find the paints, like this pink, I didn't find the paints, but I found the marker, so I grabbed it, and um, I'm going to embellish the whatever on top of whatever color we decide to do the center. Here's what they look like when you initially get them. They just come in a bubble pack, and I just took them all out of the bubble pack, except for these because they're repeats, um, so that I'd have them. I've been playing with them a little bit, but um, nothing much yet. I'm I'm trying to kind of save them because my granddaughter is. My youngest granddaughter, I should say, is really into Mickey Mouse Club. And I want to do a painting. She really likes Donald Duck. I want to do a painting on a wood board for her room um, that has the Mickey Mouse Club characters all on it. And um, I want to save the markers for that as well. I just haven't had time to sit down and draw out the picture and get it done. And if it comes out okay, I, I might put it on a, on the end of one of my videos just so you can see what I did. Um, but she really likes Mickey Mouse Club. And on Mickey Mouse Club, if you have children, you know that they sing a song called the Hot Dog Song. And she is only a year old now and she absolutely loves the hot dog song. So if you, if she gets upset or um, is misbehaving, all you have to do is start singing the hot dog song and she will stop what she's doing and she will start dancing. And it is so cute. And she's been doing that for several months now, you know, before she even um, was at, at, you know, walking age, but now she, you can't keep her still. So it's a lot of fun to, to watch her when, when the hot dog song is on. Okay. I'm going to torch the bubbles. I remembered to refill my torch before I started tonight because it was empty. I have a glob right there. Okay, so our colors for tonight are, like I said, greens tr and turquoise, and then the um, first million gold, which is kind of a greeny gold, for, is what I'm thinking. So I think it'll go good with these colors. Okay, so the first color shot color we're going to use is called Cash, and it's green. Okay, next one is called With a Twist, and it is lime green. The next one. I debated whether I should leave this one out, but I want to try it, so I'm going to put it in. It's called <laughs> Color Shot Extra Guacamole. And I know I introduced this color when I first brought um, the Color Shot colors up on the very first video when I talked about them. This one is called Color Shot Island Girl. It's a light turquoise. And then our last color is called Color Shot Mermaid. It is a darker turquoise. So these are the colors that I've chosen for tonight's painting. And I'm not trying to do like a sea painting, but it, um, 
they they kind of all go together in colors that I would do in an under the sea painting like I had done previously with my um, my uh, master's touch in those paint those paints so we'll see what happens all right it's a small paint or canvas so we're going to be um, light on the colors so that we end up with nice uh, white space and I'm going to be using the Revlon with a small um, attachment again tonight just so that we can kind of keep it under control so here we go first color is cash and what, what did I want to do for the design tonight I was thinking uh, I was going to do something crazy, but no. I'm just going to do literally top to bottom. No sprigs or anything because I've got um, six colors on a small canvas. So we're just going to go do it that way. All right, next one is with a twist. Yeah, it's a pretty lime green. Next one is our extra guacamole does look like an avocado. Avocado green. Next is our first million gold. And to me it has a green tinge, but it could just be because it's sitting right next to all these greens. All right, next one is Island Girl. And lastly is Mermaid. And if nothing else, they had really nice uh, names for the colors. Okay, so let's put those off to the side and torch the colors. Okay, and let's blow it up. All right, um, again on this dryer, um, it, I have the, the small attachment and then I only have high low but I do have this nice little power button that I call it and it's an extra shot of cool so it helps keep the paints from um, drying quickly and I just use low so I'm going to get going here I'll be right back Okay, so one thing I noticed um, was this section over here was really hard to blow. Um, and I have lots of paint on there, so I'm not sure if it was just too much or not, uh, not enough color on here because everything else blew out really pretty. Um, there is a section up here I want to back off though after I blew it out I realized I don't want it going over the side as it was 
So I just back that one off a little bit. I did want a little bit more out here, but and I want to fill this spot in a little bit. I love the cells that are happening in here. Wait till you see this section up here of the cells. I don't know what happened here, why I don't have any cells except for right here. It's really interesting. I love the colors. I just I'm gonna flare this out a little bit and this out a little bit. Because I want this sort of to look like it goes together. And then I want to flare this out. But this is gorgeous. I wish this had happened throughout the whole painting. Um, the color combination is interesting. Um, I don't really know if I like the first million in here. Uh, it's here, and it mixed with the guacamole, but the, when it did, it almost made it look like a dark gold or bronze, which I don't care for. But the rest of it looks really nice. This is just gorgeous. I can't get over how neat this looks. The rest of it just didn't do that. Wow. It is pretty, though. And I see there were some cells in here. that They're all falling down now. But this is... Oh, I love this. All right, I'm going to fiddle with these two sections here. And then, and maybe a little bit here. And then I'll bring you down and I will show you the painting up close. This is just gorgeous up here. All right, I will be right back. Welcome back. So I gave it a little more white and then re-blew it out here. And the white that I used out of my shaky bottle evidently has some something in it that's making the cells. So I'm okay with that because this really looks nice now. Um, but I wanted to show you up here these really pretty cells that are just popping through with all of the colors in them. They look so nice. Then up here there's still some things just starting to come through, so there might be a little more. Then we have our center, and then we flare out to where all the bigger um, cells are coming from. And there's stuff still popping through under all this white, so I'm still hoping for some more color to fill in there. Like right here, see how they're popping through? I'm hoping that will happen here too. And this is just gorgeous all the colors and all the cells popping. So while I wasn't going for an, under, an underwater painting necessarily, I think it kind of reminds me of the ocean. And I like the colors. Um, again, I'm not too thrilled about the, the um, first million, the gold, because when it mixed with that guacamole, it kind of made this ugly brownish color, but when it dries, it may still shimmer like it's supposed to. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But again, it's a pretty painting. I don't think it's as pretty as the last painting, but I like the colors, so I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen down here when um, it all settles down finally. And I'm going to scrape the bottoms so that all of this that's happening here doesn't end up down on my table like this did, because that's really pretty. And we want it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape the bottoms of the canvas. And I use, I have all kinds of stuff. So I use, um, I use these barbecue skiers when I have larger paintings. I like to use these little people ones. I broke the arm off. Um, because they get under there well, they're good. The bigger ones work better on thicker canvases. Um, and then these little ones, popsicle sticks, they work great for these smaller canvases because you can get right underneath there and get that paint off before it takes everything and brings it down onto the mat. So that's what I do. And then um, with these smaller paintings, I probably only have to do it one more time in about 10 minutes. Um, but on larger paintings, I can do it up to, uh, you know, three or four times just to make sure that the um, composition has set and isn't continuing to fall off the, paint, uh, off the canvas. So that is our painting for tonight. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I've had a couple new ones, um, and I'm so sorry if I missed your names on the last few videos. I've been just kind of 
busy trying to get the videos out. Um, and uh, I'm doing a little bit of stocking up on videos because we are going to be leaving on vacation in a few weeks. So um, until my next video, which should be in three days, take care of yourselves. Comment in the, uh, leave me some comments. And don't forget to decide on which of the four um, colors we're going to do the center of the Valentine painting in. The gold, the magenta, or one of the two pinks. Um, and uh, once that's decided or, uh, you know, my comments come in, then I will get that done. And then I'll show you the final painting when that's done. So until then, take care of yourselves again. And bye.